let's bring you that uh, update that we were talking about from the United States, uh, the Matthew Perry update. Um, we can have a look at that now, I think. Uh, this is what we've just got from the cast of Friends. Uh, Matthew Perry's Friends co-star said so they're utterly devastated by his death, adding, we were more than just castmates, we are family. The joint statement from Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc and David Schwimmer, reported by People magazine, said we're also utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. Uh, we were more than just castmates, we are family. There is so much to say. But right now, we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In time, we will say more and when we are able. For now, our thoughts and our love are with Matthew's family, his friends, and everyone who loved him around the world. It is that there are stories, and this is, I guess, one of them, that are kind of uh, sort of under the bracket of shocking, not shocking, if that makes sense. You know, we know that Matthew Perry had some real difficulties and challenges with alcohol and, and drugs. So in that respect, it's not shocking. But then the converse to that is that, you know, if somebody had, you know, been in the, one of the greatest sitcoms mm. ever, he, you know, had the money, he had a great lifestyle in many respects, he had lots of friends around him, he wasn't lonely in that respect, but clearly something was going wrong and who knows what specifically happened. You know, did he just fall asleep in a hot tub and that was it? But it's just, a, just one of those stories that does just grab you at some level. Yeah. He'd always been a very troubled guy, hadn't he? If you, you know, read his biography or whatever, he'd yeah. been in, in and out of rehab for a lot, long, long part of his life. But I think the reason it's hit people so hard is that, you know, he's kind of grew up with these people. Yeah. And they're just a big part of cultural life for such yeah. a long time. Even Huge. if he didn't particularly like the show, there was no getting away from it. It was yeah. 10 years, wasn't it? 10 whole mm. years. And you really did. I mean, it was just always on. It was what everyone watched when mm. they got home from school. You go straight to E4, watch Friends. Yeah. It's really, I honestly felt really like, even though I didn't think of myself as the biggest fan of Friends, like I did enjoy it, but it was like one of those ones where you feel you kind of know them a bit just because you've sort of been yeah. watching them for such a long time. And he was so hilarious as Chandler. I really think he was the best of the six. I think Chandler was the most like sort of purely funny yeah, yeah. character totally. in, in the show. Yeah, I was re-watching The Sofa, taking The Sofa <laughs> up the stairs. Uh, clip a little earlier and, and the outtakes that went with it. I think what marks it out as well is with, with big TV shows, it's always kind of interesting to get that little bit of gossip when you discover that, you know, these big shows that a couple of the major cast members just simply don't get on, they don't talk to each other, they're not mates, they've had a row or they just don't like each other. Yeah. Uh, but with this, they all got on and that was known from the beginning and that wasn't just a kind of press puff piece to make it all look more lovely and cuddly. Yeah. They genuinely did. You hear it there in that statement. They were they were more than just friends, they were family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's the opposite of, of the, the absolute psychodrama that is Sex and the City and the terrible yeah, yeah, yeah. relationship between um, what's her face? Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker. They, this was this was real. I mean, I think that some of them were like godparents to each other's children and the bridesmaids and and so forth. And they kept that relationship going long after. Yeah. There were even rumours quite recently that you know we, there might be some kind of sequel to Friends or a one-off. Yeah, that's thing. right. That was always yeah. being muted, wasn't it?